tonight. Welcome back. With the warmer weather upon us, you might be tempted to catch some rays, but with one of the highest skin cancer rates in the world, Aussies need to check and look after their skin. And today, one of our members, uh, one of our team members, is going to get a live skin check from dermatologist Dr. Natasha Cook. Would you welcome Dr. Natasha? Welcome. Hey. welcome. We'll keep the suspense hanging as to who it's going to be. Okay. But, but the, the scary facts about skin cancers in Australia are just that, aren't they? They are scary. Oh, absolutely. Statistically, two out of three Australians are going to get at least one skin cancer in their lifetime. Mm. Uh, the UV mm. exposure here is the highest anywhere else in the world. We have extremely harsh sun conditions, mm. so we really need to protect them from an early age. And it is so scary that something so small could become mm. so malignant. Um, 100%. So I've got two young kids. Now, yes. um, is sunscreen enough for them, or do we need to... Yes and no. And... There's no better sun protection than fabric. Um, right. And obviously, if you can buy those UV protective fabrics like the rashes and whatnot, yeah, your best bet. Great. White UV still goes through, so be careful. Sunscreen as well. And don't forget the eyes because kids' ah. exposure, like sunglasses, aren't just a fashion statement. Yeah. They're actually really important to protect the whites of the eyes called the, wow. um, the sclera because you can get cancers on the eyeballs later in life and oh, it's very God. hard to treat. Oh. So hats, sunscreen. The full burkini. Yep, the full burkini. <laughs> That's right. Those people have excellent skin under there because they don't see any UV. Mm. And the UV rays are also the biggest ageing factor that you can but possibly hang on, do. aren't we supposed to have vitamin D? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, how do we get it if we're covered well, up? Well, my, my <laughs> theory is take a capsule because you know exactly what you're getting. You don't have to second-guess yourself how much exposure, how much air my body is giving me the right dose of vitamin D. A simple capsule every day nails that and it's keeping your skin safe. The other important fact you need to know about is 85% of our total lifetime UV and sun exposure comes before we're 15. Mm. Oh. And what your child is doing at five will predict whether they get a cancer or not when they're 45. Right. And I'm educating oh. my patients like that all the time and they sort of say, well, I don't go out in the sun anymore. And I'm like, well, what you're doing today is an investment for your future. What we're seeing today came from your childhood. So super important to teach your kids good habits mm. and invest in them so that you set them up for life. Has, wow. has slip, slop, slap worked then? Yes, but now because it worked, then governments like stop investing in campaigns. Right. Exactly. We drop campaigns and then instances go back up again of skin cancer and you see everybody out basking themselves yeah. at Bondi because tanning becomes fashionable again. Yeah. Now, Robbo, can We've you come in here. head? Okay. You're our, you're our guinea pig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Natasha, we couldn't get you a five-year-old, but we could get you someone with the emotional age. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I am. Yeah. 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 I do have something that, that I've, I've had since I was probably about ten. That's yes. always been in the back of my knee. Yes. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah. look. Okay, a couple of quick questions. It's really important, and these are things for the people at home to take note of. Yeah. Good things sit there, bad things change. Good, bad things change consistently and persistently over months. Size, shape, colour, growing. Anything like that, get it checked out. Yep. Right. Anything new, get it checked out. So, uh, Robbo, mm. how long? So it's from 10. Yep. Changing not that much? It's changed, so it's got the white in the middle yep. of it, which has always okay. been like a, a what scary about, thing. What about growing? Uh, no, it hasn't grown in size. Great. That's yeah. a good thing. Okay. okay. So this is a dermatoscope which dermatologists use to give an extra level of information so you can help with your diagnosis of picking Ooh. good versus bad things. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, um, and this Ow. to me, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> is Hi. it's got a pinch side which we call it the buttonhole sign and the little lesion is actually going indented into the skin and it's got a fibrous component. Mm -hmm. That fits with something called a dermatofibroma which actually is a little benign, fibrous, scarry kind of spot, really common, adults, upper legs, upper arms tend not to change much, not problematic. Mm. The little whitening area, I think, is just a natural change. It slowly happened. Again, it's not a rapid change over months. I'm pretty sure that's OK. Yeah. Future reference for you, though, is if it changes at all, mm -hmm. you get it checked out. And if you were in my clinic, I'd make a document on the size and the measurements. We'd file it and I'd ask you to have a look at it every three months just to make sure it's staying the same. Mm. As I said, good things sit there, bad things change. Mm. So any change at all, always get it checked so out. what causes a mole to go bad, though? Like, if I've got a normal mole, I've got a lot of moles in my yes. body, what uh, causes drugs, that mole to go bad? Uh, unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fundamentally, the, the primary reason you get melanoma is your genetics, and it's the genetic mm -hmm. of the mole. Then mm -hmm. the secondary thing you can do are things like that you expose oh. yourself to, which the biggest cause then is UV exposure. I mean, they bad ones we were looking at before. Are they ones that are problematic? They're irregular be, shapes? That, and... that one there. Okay, this one's good, because uh, I didn't see the others. So 
we look at this, it's quite uniform in shape. If you divide it into quarters, the quarters look balanced, but the colours are all irregular. Every mm. quarter of that, if you divide it into fours, looks different. Yeah. Mm. It's got, it's got differences in colour, it looks slightly raised. It just looks wrong. Right. Yeah. So if in have doubt, it have it taken out mm. and get it checked out. Now, I did have a doctor look at that and he very quickly said it, I should have it taken out. Okay. Which worried me because I'm scared of all of that. Is, is the procedures easy to go through if you do need to have a mole taken out? Well, really simple. If you go to an expert who's doing something all the time, they get really good at it, mm. right? Mm. Okay, so mm. it's called caseload. Mm. So that's where going to somebody who's like a dermatologist who still are the only specialists mm. in skin and skin cancer diagnosis sure. and management, okay? And we say if I thought there was a, you know, a little bit of a few flags there, mm. a biopsy would be warranted because it gives us 100% accuracy, okay? So we don't have to think about is it going to change, what's going to happen? And not just treats the lesion, but also puts our minds to yes. rest. And that's a really simple procedure, smidge of local anaesthetic, using a tiny little instrument, a little bit of skin out, one or two stitches, and you're done. And yeah. most people don't even feel it at all in good hands. Right. right. And it shows you how quick and easy that was to check that. It took yeah. you about 30 yeah. seconds to diagnose. Yeah, that's 25 that years of training. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and one hell of a bill. So you're about to... Yeah, I hope you got the answer. Um, I'll, I'll tell you who to send the bill to. It's uh, yeah, or White. French <laughs> White <laughs> or French Champagne, Darlinghurst Dermatology. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Dr Cook, thanks so much for coming in today. You're absolutely welcome. Thank you. All right, up next.